Damn, we out here making lots of friends already, boys. Can you believe it? Yo, I, you know, I was just thinking about it. I was like, I remember when Forza Horizon 4 had update 32. I mean, update 32, do you realize how long that means this game has been out? I, I mean, it, it's crazy, boys. It really is crazy, but we got the new TTRS, boys. Can you believe it? And look at everybody, I can tell some people got the new car pack already. We got so much to talk about here, a huge update. We're gonna be streaming again, I want everyone to know, on Thursday. Because that is when the new series is gonna change over. We're gonna be able to show you even more once that hits. So 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday. I better see you there. But we do have a day and 20 hours left here, so don't worry boys, we got time. But it's not that time quite yet. The new playlist isn't here yet. The Horizon Race Off. Today the update dropped. So yes, for anyone that watches this stream back, update 32. It's available for download now. It's kind of a crazy or, uh, download size though. 16.2 gigabytes on PC. And I think it's like 15 gigabytes on Xbox Series X. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy the size of the update. But the Horizon Race Off, I, I'm so happy that you guys agree with me. Because, you know, people will say... Hey, he's a YouTuber, he'll just say anything. I made a poll here today. Is Forza Horizon 5 Update 32 the best yet? 83% so far, with over 110 votes, said yes. So for anyone saying, oh, he's just saying it because he's a YouTuber, yeah, come on. This is a community agreement right here, which we don't see very often, but hello everybody. Welcome to the stream and Aiden, congratulations on the new license. Hello and welcome though, thank you for being here. Please, if you're tuning in, do not forget to smash that like button. You have no idea how much it'll help this stream out. But we have a lot to show you guys and I, I want to also just point out that I'm kidding with you guys about the TTRS. This is the 2018 from the car pack. Um, but it, it's so similar to the 2020 that they're adding and I, I figured I would fool a couple people. So I just want to get a few people you know, riled up you know, at the start of the stream. But Damn, we got we got a couple. Let's see if any of these random guys will join. Hey, hey, hey you, you want to join? Do you want to join? I mean, do you want to join? Just send me a message saying 32. If you guys want to get in here, look, we made a new friend. We ouch, jeez, Elias, that's not how you treat your new friends, my God. So I'm hearing that this Saber right here, which I have driven in Forza Motorsport. By the way, I love it. It's a gorgeous car. Musty Trees got it. I'm hearing the sounds aren't exactly. Accurate. Hey, hey, Musty, if you're watching the stream, do you, do you want to rev that for me real quick? You know, do you want to rev this thing for me? I just want to hear what it sounded like. I can barely hear it. <laughs> it, it's quiet, huh? It's quiet. I, I've heard a lot of people saying that the saber is not right. It sounded really good in Forza Motorsport, so it kind of surprises me, but you guys are looking at like half the car pack already. There's the Janetta. There's the Saber. There's the Super Van 4. Uh, what's the fourth car? I forget what the fourth car is. Isn't it the old Shelby? Where's the Shelby? The Shelby 500, boys. Where is it? I, I think they're going to update it at some point, to be honest with you. Now, the 10th anniversary update, that was good, too. But I don't know. I feel, I feel like this one has a chance to be better because that that's just the car pack. I just showed you guys the car pack before we even got to the car pack. But um, let's just go through. I made a list here today. There's a few things we got to talk about. Again, if you guys want to join, just send me a message on Xbox saying 32. It's going to be an open lobby. We're going to do some racing at some point for sure. We're going to get prepared for the Horizon Race Off. I do want to point out that nothing will count towards the race off yet because it doesn't actually start until Thursday so in a day 20 hours 22 minutes so we're talking again Thursday when I stream pretty much remember don't forget live stream you better have your notifications on I better see you there but nothing counts yet the cool thing is there's gonna be trackers you guys might remember the secret Santa so when you go into your playlist when you go to the series screen here there's gonna be two trackers for the off-road and the asphalt so it's going to be cool to kind of watch the progress. It's kind of a competition too. So like it's going to be, can the Asphalt unlock the 24 Mustang first? Or can the off-road players unlock the 23 Ford F-150 Raptor R first? They're going to both be right here. We're going to see the progress meters. There's also going to be festivals. Just each week there's going to be one, I think, in a random spot around the map. And you're going to see the progress there. It's going to be a new location to go to. So there's a lot of cool new things that are going to be around the map and in the world before 
um, well, not, not before, but, you know, when the update drops. We can't see some of that stuff, like I said, yet today, but another thing, too, who else is getting close to that 100%? I still got some spring stuffs to do here. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, we're going for that 100% once again. And what a series this was, too. I mean, the AMR right there, the, that, the ID4 was probably the weakest car of this update, but the SL63, I mean, come on, this was beautiful, too. The Mercedes-Benz 500E, tons of gorgeous cars in this update, but... Horizon Race Off's better, boys. It is better. And I don't know if you guys saw the little subtle hint of the next update, but it said Apex All-Stars. So the next update, once the Horizon Race Off starts, you'll see it in the Coming Soon tab. I'm thinking we're going to get some good road and street cars, boys, because Apex is the road festival in this game. It's going to be new cars, of course. I'm excited for that, too. But um, this is kind of like miscellaneous. This wasn't even part of the update. This is just something that they... It, it, it's not major it's not like a bug but it's something i felt like it's worth pointing out because it's going to be free rewards for you guys and i was smart i didn't claim it so you could actually see what i'm talking about so after i downloaded this update right the car collection as you can see it says three and my first thought was did i get the car pack for free or something like that but that was not the case it was not what happened so when i clicked in here let me just make sure that everything okay so you can see everything good so uh Boom. I was like, huh? Because I already had claimed all of my car collection rewards. It seems a few of them somehow got reset with the update. So it's actually going to allow you to claim the Brabham BT62, which is the only car in this thing, but redeem reward. And there's 5,000 XP just because. So that's there. If you scroll down, then you hit X to hit to next reward. Um, HDT, the Commodore, same thing, it, it reset here for some reason. Now, it's not 5,000 XP, but it is a super wheel spin. I know people love their super wheel spins. Then there's one more, one more. If you scroll down, then hit next. There it is, the Chupan. Now, you wouldn't have this unless you have Hot Wheels. This is a Hot Wheels DLC car. You need the expansion to own this car. But if you have it, redeem reward, another super wheel spin. So... Those are the three little oddball things that I noticed about the update. It just kind of rebugged this. Um, there's the 67 GT500, again, part of the new car pack, which we're going to get into. Uh, as you can see, we can ha own 823 cars in this game, which we have. But now it can be 833. Ten new cars in this update. I'm going to show you all of them to the extent that I can, because obviously we can't drive them yet. We can't own them yet, except for the four car pack ones, which I do not own the car pack yet. What I'm going to do, so I just talked to you guys about, obviously, there's going to be this Horizon Race Off, right? So it, all it is is racing. We're going to be racing. we got to complete races. Certain things are not going to count, though. Uh, for example, Rivals will not count. Event Labs will not count. That kind of stuff. But just normal racing, like we're, I'm going to host open lobbies. Pretty much going to stream pretty often throughout this Horizon Race Off. Because as you guys know, I love to race. So, I mean, this is like the dream update for me. We get to race and lock a car. So that's what we're going to do. But... Um, you know, like when we do that, I need like it's all about completing. It's not about winning. That's the big thing too. Just keep that in mind. And I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that they said. Uh, I should probably just check my notes list. I'm pretty sure I jotted it down. But there's a couple things that don't count. So rivals I mentioned, event lab, super seven. That's kind of the same thing. So they will not count. Showcases do not count. Horizon stories do not count. And Horizon Expeditions do not count. So you pretty much have to do like road, street, cross country, dirt, that kind of stuff. You can also use the expansions like Rally and um, Hot Wheels. That kind of stuff counts too. So just keep that in mind though. That's, uh, you know. And yes, the car pack is out. We'll pop over to that real quick because I know people are going to wonder about that. But there is the Acceleration car pack and a beautiful image of the four cars. We literally just saw three people had the Sabre, the Genetta, and the Supervan 4. We haven't seen the GT500 yet. But my point was that brings me back to what I was going to say. So this weekend, I'm going to have these cars. I'm probably going to build them. I might have stock versions and a built one because then you guys, when you join us for racing, you guys can test these things out if you don't feel like buying the car pack, if you're not sure, if you want to buy the car pack, that kind of stuff. Because I know people are you know, tired of getting new car packs. But I will be honest, if you looked back at the history of Forza and the way things used to work, instead of us getting six new cars that were just unlockable through the playlist, Everything would be a paid car pack. So just always remember if you're newer to Forza that it's not weird or just out of nowhere that they're giving us car packs. It is it does suck that they don't just have one top edition that literally includes everything, but it is what it is. People should know this by now. There's been how many car packs since the end of the premium edition content 
has been revealed, so there's that. But uh, we'll get into the car pack, I'll show you guys those in a little bit. The other thing, there's a couple other like weird minor things that I want to talk about, so I just showed you the car collection. Um, there's a couple car bugs that I was not aware of, and one of them is actually a car pack car. Uh, this was something that was fixed in this update. This is not something that I noticed, but the 2022 Cayman GT4 RS, uh, again, it is a car pack car, but there was some, there's been a couple updates with this car. There's something with the way the front bumper was done up at first, and I think the spoiler material or something, so they have continued to fix the issues or bugs with this car. Um, I appreciate you guys patiently waiting over there and not trying to ram me the whole time like most people usually do, but... Uh, let me just go into drone mode real quick so we can look closely at the details of this vehicle. So I think one of the other updates, the update of the front bumper. I think something was also had to do with the paintability of like the hood and different things like that. But um, I think they finally got this car looking the way it should. Uh, I believe it was the material of the spoiler was incorrect, which it looks like pure carbon fiber now. So... Um, that was something that was again changed in this update. See, Grand Tours got his too. And a beautiful car. These things are awesome circuit cars. So we got this in Forza Motorsport recently too with one of the featured tours and uh, they are really fun to drive. So there is your GT4 RS. And yes, it is fixed right there. So, oh my God, you just bodied the man. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? Yo, Big Brad and Eliash are still here. Yo, somebody message them and tell them that they're on stream because they probably have no clue. I don't know if they have any idea, but... Uh, so there's that. The Cayman, that's probably like a low-key thing a lot of people might not have noticed. Now this one I'm not even sure about because I didn't notice it when I was like playing with this car because I used it a lot. It's an exclusive that everybody hopefully has because it's a beautiful car. But the Hyundai i30N, this bad boy right here. So apparently, I don't know if this was just when it was stock or if upgrades will affect it or what, but apparently the interior cluster was not matching up with your UI speedometer so like the speeds would not be accurate or something I think it was like showing kilometers versus miles per hour or something like that okay so maybe when you switch to kilometer because the in car dash is in kilometers per hour. I'm assuming if you were in kilometers per hour it would show up as like miles per hour or something. I'm not good with the calculations but it looks accurate to me now based on what kilometers an hour would be compared to miles per hour so some of you guys can maybe clarify that because I only know miles per hour. But uh, yeah that was kind of interesting because I again I didn't notice it but it might have only been depending on what metric system you're using. So just wanted to point it out though in case anyone did experience that issue that has been something they addressed as being fixed. And can we talk about how just perfect this car is boys. I love this i30. Oh no! Sting why would you do it? Two i30s gone you know. I could have had them in America but nope now they're, now they're totaled. <laughs> so anyways that, that's cool right there. I like that. You have a gift to claim. Wait a minute. Do we have any gifts to claim? There is going to be... I, I guess it's worth pointing out. It's not going to be yet, but... Um, let me just look real quick. So... Oh, the message is gone? What the hell? There was literally a message here like a few seconds ago. talked about the new update, but... So, this gifts tab. There's nothing here now, but on Thursday, March 28th, there's going to be two new gears dropping. Um, let me see if they're actually... We might be able to look at them... It might just not be unlocked, but they're going to gift us two gears for the race off. So one's going to be asphalt, one's going to be off-road. Let's see if they're in the outfit section yet, because I can at least show you what they look like. Uh, they'd probably be at the bottom, I'd imagine. Uh, maybe they're just not... Wait, there it is. There it is. Yep, okay. So there's the new ones, boys. So there's the asphalt racers or asphalt race suit and then there's the off-road race suit so both of these are going to be gifted to everybody on march 28th um i think it said 2 p.m gmt which i'm assuming is just season changeover est but just just look in your message centers for this and steve if you don't have an update either restart your game or restart your platform everybody should definitely have the update now i've heard it on PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series consoles, it shouldn't matter where you are, even Steam. Everybody's got the car pack and everybody has the update, so just do a full restart if you're not seeing it yet. But uh, what do you guys think? You know, I actually need to update this poll. 
So about 80% think that this is the best update that we've had so far. But let me make a new poll in the live stream chat for you guys because I really feel like I need an answer to this. I'm not going to ask you what it is. You're just going to wait to see it. Can anyone guess what the question is going to be? Should be pretty obvious. <laughs> no, not colors. <laughs> but close. What team are you? Asphalt or off road? I, I commented what team I am, but uh, so again, just expect these in the message center to be gifted. Make sure you, uh, hopefully there won't be an option to delete, but you got to download them. Then you'll be able to use these. You'll be able to rock these. I'll be honest. I, as my, I'm an asphalt racer. Just going to be clear. Road street. That's me. But I love orange and I do think the off-road suit looks a little bit cooler. I do think it looks a little bit cooler. And also, like, how come the font on the side, like, see where it says Wilds and Baja, it's, the lettering is bigger. And then on the race one, I can barely read that. Apex street scene pulse. Like, come on, block party. They could have expanded that a little bit more. I mean, they're just doing this dirty over at Asphalt. Who's making our gear, man? They should be fine. That just ain't right. The new festival playlist, Christian, will not be out for another one day, 20 hours, and nine minutes. The update that brought the content in is here, though. You can download it now. But hello, Toxic. Hello, Masala. And hello to all the lurkers and everybody else out there. Um... But all right, so that's that. We showed you guys that. That was an extra thing. Um, what do we got next, boys? What's on the agenda? I got a lot of things on this agenda here. I guess the next thing we should show you guys, we talked about, like, you know, what will count and what will not count for the race-off. But now we better show you the new car. So there are six new cars that will be exclusives. And we're going to go right into those now because I think they're the most important ones. They're the ones that everybody will have a chance to get just by playing the game and two of them literally just by racing. You won't even have to do the playlist. And uh, Mrs. Ellis, you are correct, and that's not what I was insinuating. I'm just asking, what do people prefer? Are you going to be racing on asphalt? Are you more worried about getting the Mustang? Or are you going to be racing off-road and more worried about obviously getting the off-road Raptor R, but to be clear, just in case anyone would get confused, because that does happen, everybody gets both cars. It doesn't matter what racing you're doing, everybody's going to get both. It's a global community challenge for each of them. So yeah, I just want to be clear on that. But again, I'm looking for 32 messages if you guys want to join in here. Send me a message, gamer tag is stevio2175. Happy to have an open lobby with you guys. We are going to do some racing here once we get through all the new content, so... Gamer tag again, stevio 2175 just sends me a message. And we will get you guys on Ian. Probably will have a full lobby by the time I'm done going through these messages, but we will certainly switch the lobby around, make sure other people can get in here at some point, as we always do. And like I said, too, what, we're, what you guys are going to see with us racing here, we're going to be doing throughout the entire race-off series, because racing is what I love to do, boys, so I'm very excited for it, but... Uh, let me go to a race location. We'll, we'll cruise, boys. We'll go for a little cruise. Let's go to Mulehe here. So I can show you guys the six new cars, and we're going to just see their PIs, which is something you probably haven't seen. And uh, we'll be able to see what they look like a little bit. And I'm sure there's somebody that's tuned in that hasn't even seen what the six new cars are. A.K.A. you didn't see my upload yesterday. A.K.A. what the heck are you doing out there? Whoa, 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 my goodness. Hey, don't you start ramming, Stig. Don't you do it. Oh my god, Stig. This is how you get blocked from the lobby. Don't you be ramming my poor I-30 and it's already been totaled once today. Yeah, make sure you guys get your updates. It is available for everybody. 66% are on Team Asphalt. With this being the numbers that we're seeing, we better get that Mustang before we get the Raptor R, but... Yo guys, you ready for this? Don't turn right there, don't turn right there. This is what I did literally the first day I got the game when I came to this first race. This was like one of the first races. You just skip down right here, boys. I still remember it like it was the first day two and a half years ago, boys. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do, boys. We're not gonna actually, well, we could actually race, but that's not what we're here to do. I wanna show you guys the new cars. So there's six. Let me make sure I don't forget. Let me, let me show you an order from my least favorite to my favorite. 
of these six cars, and they are all good cars, boys. I, I mean, they're all good cars. I don't even know what order to go in here, to be honest with you. I think I, I was driving the Audi TT. I think I'll start there because it's so similar. So I just want to point out this Audi TT RS, this is the 2018. So that came with the car pass or is in a car pack. I think it was the car pass. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while. We've had this car for a while, but there's the numbers and there's the TTRS. Do I need to get my face out of here so you can... I'll just get my face out for a second so you can see these numbers. But there's the TTRS. 2018. But now in the playlist, second or third week, we're going to be getting the 2020 Audi TTRS. Now the first thing I would like to point out that I notice is a difference is they actually have the black optics package on this one, which I don't understand why they wouldn't for the 2018, but do you see how the front bumper has the black instead of the silver where it says Quattro? And then it has the black emblem on the hood, um, the black mirrors instead of like the silver ones, the black wheels instead of the silver ones. Like this is basically a black optics package upgrade for the TTRS. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, also they named one the coupe and the other one not the coupe. <laughs> That's the other thing I noticed, but that is one of the new cars. Um, I think I'll like it. It is a cool car. Uh, it is interesting. You know what's interesting is that I drove this car in real life. Literally this exact car. That color, 2020 RS3, and you can see the numbers are the same here in terms of horsepower and torque. I'm not sure why this one has a little bit more horsepower. Six more horsepower? It doesn't really make sense because they all have the same exact uh, five-cylinder engine. So. Uh, Anybody want to give me some info on that? I'm not really sure, because they have literally the same engine. But that's the TTRS, so that's one of the new cars. Um, again, I, I, don't, I think that's spring. Or no, 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 not spring. It's winter. Or autumn, one or the other. <laughs> what I do know... Uh, oh, wait, I'm going from least favorite. That's right, least favorite. That's the only reason it's least favorite, because we already had one. But um, I think I'll have to go Jaguar next. Jaguar is really not my favorite car, although I will say, man, this Project 8 that we just got recently... Man, did I love that car. I still love that thing. S1 class, so good. But now we have... It's kind of interesting because these are somewhat similar. Um, they're all-wheel drive, which is very unique for Jaguar. It's the SVR. Uh, this is the spring reward, 100%. I know that's the last week. So looking at the numbers here. So it's lighter, a little bit less power, but lower in S1. You might be able to downgrade it to A class, which would be interesting. So uh, there's the Jaguar, though. That's going to be the spring 20-point reward. Um, yeah, I don't remember if the TTRS, you guys probably said it in chat already. I think it's second or third week, and then... Oh, that's tough, then. That is tough. I think next... This might surprise some people. But it's kind of because we have similar cars in the game already. But the 03... Now, they better have the mystichrome paint as an option for this thing otherwise you know people will be creating it but the 2003 mustang svt cobra so that thing should be an awesome street car i, I mean it's b class i can easily see it being b or a class very excited for that one really good addition but there's just so many good cars here boys that's why it's my third least favorite and this might surprise you but what i'm putting next ahead of that um, and again, that would be second or third week, 20-point reward. But, boys, the 2023 F-150 Raptor R. I mean, I'm not a big truck guy, but this thing is beautiful. It's a really nice truck, and to be honest with you, it should be a really good cross-country car. I I'm very excited for it. I really am. And again, this is the race-off reward. So, off-road racers, all your race completions on cross-country and dirt. That's what's going to help us get to this F-150 Raptor R. It is not part of the direct seasonals or the seasons of the festival playlist, but that is what I'm going to have to put next. Um, then we're down to the final two cars. So we talked about the Jaguar, the Cobra, the TT, the Raptor. Actually, it's right here, boys. 2024 Mustang GT has finally made it to Forza. Very excited about this beautiful body style. Um, maybe eventually this means we could get the Dark Horse, maybe next month with the Apex All-Stars, who knows? But 500 horsepower, rear-wheel drive, of course, should be a really fun A-Class street car. If you love Mustangs, you should love this one. But, boys, the car I had to put number one on my list for the six cars this update. Of course, not counting the car pack, because we haven't even talked about that yet. But the McLaren Artura. 
I mean, it is just gorgeous, boys. It's a hybrid 700 horsepower S1 class. Summer season 20 points. Cannot wait. I'll be seeing you guys on Thursday. Actually, wait a minute. You guys can see me right now. But I'll be here Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be unlocking that car. Cannot wait for it. Um, and then I guess since it's right next to it, we'll get into the car pack a little bit too, huh? There's the McLaren Sabre. Really happy to see that we can fit it into S1 class. They need to fix the engine sounds though because tons of people have been saying. And by the way, I'm rocking my McLaren LEGO Speed Champions shirt. So we had to do it for the two McLarens, the Artura and the Sabre. But um, we got three more cars. So that we're, we'll go from favorite to least favorite because the Sabre, my, if they fix the car sounds, it's my favorite car from the car pack because I already drove it in motorsport. It, it's amazing, guys. It, it's a beautiful car, but should be even better in Horizon minus the sounds at the moment. But uh, number two, uh, is it under Shelby or Ford? <laughs> That's what I got to figure out first. Let's see here. It's probably, yep, there it is, boys. The 1967 Shelby GT500. Again, there's an acceleration car pack, so the Sabre and this and the next two cars I'm about to show you are part of the car pack, which we'll directly take a look at here in just a second. I don't own it yet. Again, this weekend, we're going to have the cars. You guys are going to be able to test drive them if you join my game session again on the live streams. So make sure you keep those notification bells on, but um, it's a beautiful classic. I, I mean, let's be honest here. It's a beautiful classic C-class already, which is pretty cool. I imagine I'm going to go to B or A-class with it. Definitely going to be... Um, a fun car. I'm sure people, some people make it a drag car too, but it's a, it's a gorgeous classic. And I'm not a big classic guy, but that one is just stunning. So that's got to be next. And then, you know, the, the last two, it's kind of a toss-up, to be honest with you. Um, we'll just go to Janetta. We'll show you the Janetta. This thing, it doesn't look like a 2019, but it is the G10 RM. I'll be straight up. I don't know much about this car. Um, looks fast though. 450 horsepower, 2,000 pounds. Should be a little A-class rocket, and it looks like it has uh, vintage tires on it already, too, which is interesting for a 2019, huh? But pretty cool little car there, but just doesn't tickle my fancy like that Shelby or like the Sabre. And then the final car, you guys saw it already, too, the Ford Supervan 4. Now, this thing looks sick. It's an EV. I'd like to point that out. 1,900 horsepower, boys. All-wheel drive S2. I mean, that thing should be insane. I'm sure you can drift it. Should be a fun race car. It's probably got incredible downforce. Real question is, can you get to the top of S2 class or X class? And will it be viable for anything? You know what I mean? So uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the live stream chat, you know, which of these cars are your favorite from the car pack. And also the update. I, I think we have a an amazing update top to bottom, though. I mean, what's your least favorite car from this update? For me, I'd probably have to say... I don't know, the Janetta maybe? Like, it's tough, boys. Like, they're all really cool cars. Um, so I'm excited for all of it. And again, this is all going to start. We're going to be able to unlock everything Thursday. The car pack is here now. And, uh, you know, yeah. So I might buy the car pack during the stream. We'll see. If I do that, I'd have to black out my screen. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what you guys are feeling. Would you guys like to see me? use the car pack here today would you like to see me use the car pack here today because i could i just didn't have time to do it before i got to this stream here but hello sten thank you so much for subscribing and uh, whoever else subscribed to i missed somebody but um these are again all beautiful cars here we got 11 in the lobby so we got a couple more spots let's try and finish this off get the rest of the gang in here I'll just send invites out to everybody because then we pretty much have to have a full lobby. Even if somebody disconnects, somebody else should be able to join. So make sure you guys have the update, like, updated because... No, I will not sell you an SVJ. What do you think this is, meh? What do you think this is, meh? All right, can this... There we go. Now my messages are working. Now they're working. So want to, again, make sure we have a full lobby. ka -chow, huh? ka -chow. Wow, Xavier got in. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. All right, boys. So here it is, though. The acceleration car pack. I, I love that shot they got of the four cars. I mean, that's a beautiful shot of all of them. So just showed you them in the, you know, uh, PI screen where you can see all the ratings of them, horsepower, all that stuff. See, it does look like it has the vintage tires on that Janetta, though, which is pretty cool. There's the Sabre. And uh, there they are, all four of them. 
So this car pack is not included with premium edition. I'd like to point that out. What are these percentages you guys are putting in the chat? What, 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 did I miss something? Did I miss something? What are these percentages? Yo, big brain Tony said that my car or my account's modded. <laughs> That's funny. I haven't heard that in a while. I haven't heard that one in a while. Are you guys talking about uh, download percentages? Is that what is it somebody asked the download or the update percentages? <laughs> I missed it. I, I didn't have the chat screen up for a while. What's up, RKCT? How you doing? All right, let me ask this in particular. What's your favorite car from this car pack? Like, if you had to pick one, what is your favorite car? I, I would imagine the top two favorites have to be the Sabre and the GT500, and that's kind of, do you like classic or do you like modern? Uh, the Jeanette is an oddball one, but it's a pretty cool car, too, and then the Supervan is just really EV taste. So a lot of people don't like EV. Some people do. I'm kind of indifferent. I don't let that affect whether or not I like a car. For me, it's all about looks and performance. I get the sounds aren't there. It's always the downside, but... You know, I'm not one of those people, oh, I hate that, I'm not getting that because that's in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people are funny, but... Um, pretty cool cars, though, boys, for sure. Um, and uh, as our percentages are increasing for the... I, again, the update was huge, though, boys. We're talking, like, 15 to 17 gigabytes. So, there's a lot of gigabytes there, boys. A lot of gigabytes, but... All right, we got a lobby of 12. I got some pictures to take, it looks like. I'm just going to wait. Actually, should I wait? I don't know if I should wait, because if I wait, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to forget. What do we got? Shelby, Supervan, the Saber. Yo, where's the Janetta, boys? Where's the Janetta? Yeah, pop up. I can totally see you liking the Janetta, but damn damn it, peoples. Where's the Janetta, dang damn it? <laughs> Nobody's in the Janetta, of course. Hey, look, the Peel P50 is going burr. Yo, it makes sense. Peel burr. This command's all about the peels. To protect and swerve. I, I don't know if those two things go together, but we'll rock with it. <laughs> we'll rock with it. I like the meme for sure. All right, let's do some racing, boys, shall we? You know, let's start out. I, I tried to fool you guys in the beginning with my 2018 TTRS. Let's celebrate the addition of the Black Optics Package TT with the old TT. We'll do a little A-Class Audi to start off here. What do we got, boys? What do we got? And by the way, that is... I, I have, since the beginning of this stream, I have gone through all the new stuff that I can show you today. That is all the new stuff that I can show you today, but we're going to do some racing. We're going to have some fun again. Open lobby. Anybody can join, and then maybe at some point, if you guys... Yeah, obviously, there's always new people coming in here that didn't see the beginning of the stream. If there's any particular questions you have about anything, just let me know in the chat. My moderators will try to answer. If not, they'll get my attention, and I will try to answer. But we'll do teams on. Why not? Collisions are off. Let's do some of that Audi racing. And again, I'm going with the TT just to celebrate... The 2020 black optics package because I was wondering why we didn't have black optics packages options for these older ones man Especially the Audi RS3. Yo, that's one we need boys. Yo, the new Audi R8 Which is in Forza Motorsport, but then also where is the Audi RS3 the new body style? That is another one that would be amazing to get here. So We'll see what happens Hmm <laughs> You know, Zoomy, some people might think that you're a little too Zoomy with your keyboard after reading that message. By the way, I just want to say thank you guys for the 100 plus smashes on that like button. If you're just tuning in or you forgot to smack that like button, truly does help the stream out. So I'd appreciate it. I would appreciate it. Let's have some fun and do some racing now, though, boys. How long did that take me to get through everything? I went through as thoroughly as I could. Over 30 minutes, not too bad. Not too bad. I like what I see. So, I just want to point out, though, that this is not the new Audi TTRS. This is not the 2020. For anyone that's literally just tuning in that hasn't heard me joking about it. Um, you know what's interesting? Is it looks like this one has... Oh, you know what? It's because I have the front bumper for this one. See, the Audi RS3 doesn't have an option to make it the black, blacked out like front bumper and everything, which... It matters, boys. It does. It looks so much better. Like, I would not buy an Audi unless it had the black front and the black badging. See, like, how that's chrome there? Now, on the purple, the chrome badging looks okay, but front bumper still needs to be black. For sure. Oh, boy. I got an officer on my team. Yo, where's Drake go at? Yo, we got five? What happened? Somebody disconnected, huh? Took a while to get us in here. Hopefully, this allows us to full send to here, boys. Let's do a little Audi racing though this still fits with the european theme which we technically are still part of so damn you're gonna put a rang 
And the P50 on my team. Oh boy. Yo, what's with the three unupgraded cars on the other team? What's going on here? You guys are telling me you don't have a single Audi. Uh, five of you. A single Audi. There's like 25 Audis. I got like 20 of them built. None of you guys have one top of A-class Audi. I mean, disappointment intensifies. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, Michael, it's very subtly different, I know. But you know what I'm saying. It looks a lot better with the black. And the black wheels, too, and all that different stuff. But, I mean, we can do BMW. We can do BMW. There's no new BMWs, though. Trying to celebrate some of these manufacturers, you know? You like your car stock? I, it's fair enough. There are people like that. But for racing, like, realistically, if you're stock, unless it's a car that's near the top of the class, I mean, you're going to have no shot to win. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to have no shot to win if you run into walls like that, too. There is a reason we have collisions off around here, and that would be exactly why, right there. You guys saw it. I ain't trying to deal with getting rammed by people that forget how to use the left trigger. Hell no. Nah. Alright, blue team, let's get it. And hopefully the uh, stock cars can prove me wrong. Can you guys win? Can you guys find a way to win? Feels weird racing after so much talking. I gotta, like, lock in here now. Get comfortable in my chair. This TT is a beautiful car, though. They do drive nice, boys, and I, I kind of have, you know, a somewhat connection to them just because I, tri I in real life, test drove, like I said, a 2020 Audi RS3, and that RS3, man, that five-cylinder, 394 horsepower. So they let me take it on a test drive for anyone that hasn't heard the story. Um, some new girl that was working there who was on her, like, third day, she had no clue that customers were not supposed to be test driving RS models. They put me out there in the Aura Crystal Blue effects. Audi RS3, brand new 2020. Sitting there during COVID on the lot and they let me and my girlfriend at the time take it out for a test drive and uh, I may or may not have hit 140 miles per hour on the highway on the way back to the dealership. Unfortunately, the recording is lost but the memory will always be there. Beautiful sounds. I remember pulling it out of the dealership just hearing the rumbles and the crackles of the exhaust. I mean, they're really nice cars. I've also test driven like a 2018 Audi S4, which of course is totally different, but they sound really good too. I mean, they're just all really fun cars. It's just that they're not reliable like Lexus. There's a reason I own a Lexus and I test drive the Audis. <laughs> I have an old Lexus though. 2001 boys. 2001 first generation Lexus IS300 for anyone that doesn't know. And I still love it. I got a brand new exhaust on it recently. It's I got a Magnaflow cat catalytic converter like the midpipe and then I got a um, it's called a Revel Medallion cat back. It's um, I think they were called what were they called before? They changed their name. That might have been the old name actually. Tanaby. Tanaby beautiful exhaust it's a 4.5 inch tip i think it's like a chrome tip fully stainless steel it's perfect too it's not overbearing it's not loud it's not far can almost sounds stock when you start the car then you go to the back though you hear the little nice deep rumble and it's really quiet when you're cruising but then when you get on it you can hear it like it's a loud exhaust like it, it's it's perfect boys it is perfect you know what, Masala, it's got 100,000 miles. It's probably more reliable than like half the cars on the road today. <laughs> if you don't know too, and Robert, thank you so much for subscribing, but it's got the 2JZ GE. So it's a naturally aspirated version of the Toyota Supra engine and they're phenomenal, man. I mean, most people build them and you know, go crazy with them, drift them, whatever. For me, I just appreciate them as a daily. They're just so nice. They're just so nice. But, all right, well. We did the Audi. I feel like we got to do a Ford race. You guys ready for a Ford race? Hey, at least we got a new off-road Ford truck. GG's though, boys. Fun race right there. Hello, Warrior Girl. Welcome to the stream. And uh, don't forget, too. I don't know if it's, it's bright enough to see the board. There, now you can see the board. So... 
we got one more spot on that board, boys. Um, I think this weekend for the race off is when we're going to be getting that final name up there. So we can have our elimination tournament finale. I'm very excited for that. Uh, also, if you don't know, we do have channel memberships around here. If you type in exclamation point VIP in the chat, which I'll do for you. You can check out the perks that you get with memberships on this channel. But uh, let me get a couple more people in here. Looks like we had a disconnect, which we have quite often. Sometimes either people aren't in the right place or they're not paying attention. There's lots of things. Or, or somebody's game can take a dump. Yeah, you know, that happens too. We see all kinds of things happen out here, but the good thing is it doesn't take long to reconnect, usually. So there's a couple more people to hop in here. Uh, you know what we should do next? Hmm. You know, yeah, I, I got it. We'll do a... We'll do a Ford race. We'll do a Ford race. Let's do another street. Where should we go? Let's go to Festival Gate Crash, shall we? Good decisions. Thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate you. Now, half furl. No, not quite yet. Unless you get the car pack. The car pack is available. Hello, Andre. Welcome to the stream. What's up, Jim Bob? Long time no see. All right. So let me just check, because in honor of the new um, Cobra R, I would like to drive. I believe I have a build for the old Cobra there. Yeah. So we'll do a B class. Ford race. You can use whatever Ford you want, but that's what I'm going to be bringing. Or showing some respect to the new cars coming in this update. Getting ready for them and also warming up for some racing, boys. So we'll do Ford. We'll do B class if I can find Ford. There it is. So many manufacturers. Can you guys believe we have over 830 cars? Like, do you guys appreciate that we have 830 cars? in these games now. I, I mean, it's insane, boys. It really is insane. And you heard that right. 833, to be exact. I mean, that's... I think that we're pushing towards 100 more than Horizon 4 had. I mean, think about that for a second. That is just... That's crazy, man. What's up, Dooley's? How you doing? Sounds good, Musty. Have a good one, sir. Hello, Christopher. Welcome. And hello to all the lurkers. You that are watching and not saying hello. At least smash that like button. If we get to 150, that'd be pretty awesome right there. And uh, Speed Freak, yeah, my early access that I have here is just so amazing. The exact same update that everybody else has. I mean, what am I even doing that makes people think that I have a hacked account or an early access or anything? I'd love to know. I would love to know. <laughs> man said I got early access. Yep, it's just me, man. Nobody else is playing with me. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's up, cowboy? Welcome to the stream. Hello, Roman. Damn, I can see that, Aiden. Wait, well, can be 450 horsepower and 2,000 pounds? It better be able to hit 200. If not, it'd just be a disappointment, honestly. Yeah, it's true. I'm, I'm a YouTuber, so I, I automatically cheat, right? Automatically not a legit dude. What's up, Daniel? Welcome to the stream. Oh yeah. I, does someone think that this is the new Cobra? Is that what it is? <laughs> That's funny, bro. Always funny. Gives me a good laugh. But I, I do understand it to an extent, because I, I do see the toxic and horrible other influencers that are out there that people are stuck with watching sometimes. and. Once you see two or three guys that are cheating, it's pretty easy to assume that anybody on YouTube does the same thing, right? Roman, thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate you. All right, boys. Let's see what we got here. Wow, a lot of you guys brought the 2000 Mustang alongside me. Rear wheel drive and lots of power. Let's see how we do. Yeah, exactly. Mo power. You tell them. Yo, who is it? Is that the Focus or is that the... Yeah, it's Focus. I thought it was a Fiesta at first. I'm like, damn, that's brave. That's brave. I 
Definitely got to have some throttle control. Grand Tour's doing a good job so far. We are talking about Mustangs. Come on, Aiden. Give me all you got, bruh. Give me all you got, man. Oh, jeez. He's sliding out. The man gave me all he got, and then he slid out. <laughs> Come on, man. Keep it on the track, boys. Keep oh, no, 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 no. Don't go wide like that. <laughs> you got to try and stay on the track there. That's a very slippery section. It's like sand and gravel. Got to be careful. Got to have the right car to be sliding that far over. going on Mikey hello ad welcome to the stream it is a beaut boys I expect the new one to be even better even better oh yeah oh yeah Hey, nice. That, that is accurate. That's a wheel spin exclusive, isn't it? The four door? Or is that the other one? The Bravis? I think the Bravis is. Might be both. Might be both. Another great race there, boys. Yo, nice choice there. P50. I had to go with the 500. Huh? That RS500 is a pretty nice car. I do have a build for that. Hey, sometimes you need more power, even. <laughs> Yeah, no, the brakes are not very good on that setup, but it is what it is. Got to work with them, you know. Uh-oh. CJ, you might be on to something. So is it, like, carbon fiber, or what should it be? Like, what should... Be? Let me, let me uh, pop up the car quick here, real quick. Damn, Mikey, Damn. Go find some change, throw it at the console, insert it in the disc tray. Give me your quarters. <laughs> I just want to see it here quick. Alright, uh, what am I doing here? Yeah, so speed freaks, so you can stop thinking that I'm cheating here. If you go to the promo and then you filter by not captured, you'll be able to see all the cars. So, there's the F type, so... Should this be someone saying it shouldn't be a painted roof? I'm assuming I'm assuming it's either going to be glass or carbon fiber or something that it should be. I, I'm not a big uh, Jaguar guy, so I don't know all the specs of them and everything like that. But um, oh yeah, what's up, Vaptanian? Welcome to the stream. Nobody else has pointed that out, so that's an interesting, uh, interesting thing about it. I wonder if there's different options you can get or something though. There's a, obviously different things that can go on, so. But, uh, alright, let's do... What should we do now, boys? What should we do now? You know what we should do? I got something. I got something, boys. Let's do some cross-country for the off-road races. I know I don't do it a lot, but... It's one good way to celebrate the Raptor R coming in, in case there's any open spots. Which I think there is. Let me send a couple invites out again. If you guys want to get in here, anybody can join. It's an open lobby, so... Send me a message saying 32. Gamer tag is Stevio2175 and Cowboy. I know, man, I know. An M3 PH, it should be, yes. The new car pack should be available. Um, I'm not sure 
why you wouldn't see it on Steam. You might need to like restart your thing because everybody else on Steam that I've talked to has seen it. So it is available everywhere. But um, all right, let's go to what's a fun little street race. Let's go to Estadio. Yep, I, you know it's insane. Now, I don't know if it's just because it's what I do, so people watch me that also kind of do the same thing, but I obviously love Road and Street. 77% of over almost 240 votes are Team Asphalt. So, some of you guys might have a problem over there on Off Road. <laughs> By those numbers, I'm seriously expecting um, Asphalt, the 24 Mustang, to unlock before the Off Road 23 Raptor does, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, boys. We'll do some A-class cross-country here, though. We'll do teams on, collisions off. Let's see, I got a few options, actually, probably. Hmm. What should we go with, boys? I honestly don't have too many options. A couple. We'll go with the Lightning. Go with the F-150. I'm sure a lot- anyone that likes trucks, I'm sure, would like the Raptor. I mean, they're actually designed nicely, so. And Mickey, what you talking about? <laughs> Got one early. I'm not even driving a new car, man. I'm, I'm driving the old one, damn it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, both are fun, Dom, for sure. Both are fun, for sure. And um, I don't own the Sabre yet, so I can't tell you, but I'm sure there's somebody watching that might have the Sabre that can answer the question of, does it have paint groups? Aiden, this is not a surprise. <laughs> you should be used to this, man. This happens every stream, I feel like, pretty much. Nice try, Statum. Papa both said both the mods are on it. They got three. Three, I tell ya. Yo, Sten, tell me about it, bro. We could use a 2001 GS430. It's a car I owned in real life before. 2001 to 2005 first-gen Lexus IS300. That'd be another good one. We have the SC, which is something, but the GS350, like the 2015 would be cool. 2013. Um... Try the IS500, like a brand new IS500 would be really cool too. We have the RC, so same engine. But yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a big Lexus person, so you'll never be able to uh, <laughs> tell me something other than Lexus. I'd like to see more, but you know, uh, there's cars like the Koenigsegg Gemera, the Maserati MC20. There are things like that that I probably would like to see over Lexus just because of what they are, but I always... Always am cool with Lexus, man. I did. We've never seen in Horizon a first gen Lexus IS300. That doesn't even make sense. It's literally a street car. So maybe one day, boys. A lot of people want to see a Horizon Japan. If we get a Horizon Japan, there has to be an Alteza. I mean, there just has to be. Could you imagine not having the Alteza in a Japan located Forza Horizon? I mean, maybe that's what they're waiting for for that car. Maybe they just think that's a car that has to be part of, like, just that game or something. Who knows? Maybe Toyota wants it that way. Licensing comes into play. You know, you never really know what the holdup is or what the real reasonings are, but I, I know that car got some votes on, uh, you know, the car voting on the Forza forums, so it's not like it's impossible for it to happen or people aren't asking for it. I've been trying to lead that charge for a long time. Damn soccer ball. Yo, know, somebody just went flying off the track. Jeez. Come on, red team. Keep it up. We doing good out here, boys. We doing good. Damn. 
Damn, red team's actually dominating. I can see why somebody overshot that corner. It's pretty easy to do. <laughs> it really is pretty easy to do. And by the way, what you guys are watching now, just some chill racing, whether it be team racing, solo racing, whatever, we're going to be hosting lobbies for the Horizon Race Off pretty consistently, pretty much whenever I can stream, I'm going to want to, because we're going to try and unlock those new cars ASAP, boys, ASAP, I tell ya. We going for them. Oh, thank God we ghosted there, jeesh. I would have been RKO'd from out of nowhere. <laughs> I ain't trying to get RKO'd from out of nowhere, boys. Good race in Peel. The Platinum's putting in the work. Look at that. <laughs> Gotta love it. I actually haven't driven that car in months. That truck, I should say. That That's a pretty good truck, though. It is a really good truck. Like, there's a lot of good off-road trucks. It's just that... I don't do cross country a lot, so I don't have a lot of them built. I'm probably going to have to build more because I definitely want to give some of you guys the 22% of you that like off-road. I do want to do some off-road racing. So, What's up, Cams? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, I've heard some stories. I've heard some stories. Hello, Brett. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys for the 150 smashes. On that like button but hmm trying to think about where we should go next you know what we gotta do next I actually know what we're doing next we got to celebrate the McLaren Artura McLaren time boys McLaren time I do have an extra spot in here again it looks like another disconnect again gamer tag is stevio2175 just send me a message saying 32 if you're trying to get in here and I'm going to swap a couple people around too because I have quite a few messages, so. Let's see. Who should we kaboot out of here? I'll just go random. You guys know how I like to do. Just random. Huh? What just. Oh, wait. He just left. I literally landed on him. I was about to kick him. He left it and then it didn't let me. I was like, how could I not kick him? It didn't give me. <laughs> that was so weird, bro. That was actually so weird. Alright, let me send these out. I don't want to kick too many people. Don't want to kick too many people, you know what I'm saying? Cannot be doing that. You took... How'd you get a picture of the suit? Don't you gotta... Can you even... How do you get a picture of the suit? Huh? Yo, somebody explain that to me. The suit's not even unlockable yet. You can't... How can you get a picture of that? I need answers, boys. I need answers. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. I need answers. Yo, I sent you a message, bruh. Don't spam. Yo, guys, another tip, too. Do not spam me with messages because when I send or when I'm looking for the messages, usually I go from the bottom. You might notice I scroll down and start at the bottom because those are the oldest messages. So, you know, it's kind of kind of something we try and do around here. But all right, let's do a McLaren race, boys. Um, hmm. Where are we going to go for some McLaren racing? It actually should be a fun one. We haven't done McLaren in a while. You know where we're going to go? Let's go to Linea Costera, one of the new races. That'll be perfect, boys. That'll be perfect. Time to full send it. Dang, name it. Does it... Okay, that's still doing that. I should say something about that because it's just... It's so minor and insignificant, but it always scrolls me over when I'm not even scrolling. So I, I try and click and it's like, oh, nope. Just kidding, got you. I'm like, bruh, there's no reason for us to be playing these types of games. But we'll do teams off this time. And I think, I hope I have the tune that I'm thinking I have because it's been so long since I've driven it. Okay, I do. Let me just see what else I got though. We got a couple cars, boys. What do we got? We got the 620R. We got the F1, the 570, the 650, the F1 GT, the 650. 765 damn i'm actually torn oh man <laughs> you know i thought i was gonna go with the 765 but then it's like damn 
There's a couple really nice options here. Um, I'm going to go with the F1 GT. We'll go with the throwback. Why not? Yo, 3Ds, you don't fall asleep while you're driving in real life right behind the wheel. I mean, if you get bored of racing in this game, <laughs> could imagine. You, you know, so I used to drive about an hour to go see my ex-girlfriend. So I'd go out of state so that I'd usually be coming home Sunday night late, you know, because you know how that is. And On the way home, it got to a point where I did it so often that I actually got pretty tired and I was drifting off behind the wheel. And it's crazy because, look how my wheels glitz into the fender. But it's actually crazy because, like, it doesn't matter what you do. You can slap yourself. You can, like, wiggle around. You can put, play the radio. You just get to a point where you're so tired that there is no control that you have over it. You will just drift right off. And it is scary, bro. Like, it is scary. Like, I stopped taking those late night drives after a couple times of that happening because... You know, it had never happened before. It would, like, never had happened before. And then all of a sudden it started, you know, late nights started catching up to me. And, yeah, be careful. Don't do that. Because all it takes is one second, man. One second, literally, to cause an accident or hit a tree or hit a barrier or whatever. You know what I'm saying? There's just so many things. But... All right, boys. Wow, they gave me the pull rank in a lobby of 12? This is unhoid of! Like, literally, that does not happen. Like, that actually doesn't happen. <laughs> this is weird. Is this something with the new update? Is this part of the new update? I get a pull rank perk? Could it be? Could it be? Next race, I, next 10 races, I'll be in 12th place, actually. When you really think about it. Here we go! I haven't driven this one in a while either, boys. I am so excited for the Artura, though. You guys have no clue. Like, it's such a beautiful car. Again, it's a hybrid. Almost 700 horsepower. It should be really fun. Well, look at that, dude. A little skip in the road, man. It'll get you sometimes. That thing is something, isn't it, boys? <laughs> and yeah, Warrior Girl, that's the thing, man. It's a big update. Like, I was actually so surprised when I saw the update size. I was like, huh? Like, what's in this update that makes it 15 gigabytes? I mean, it's a car pack and whatever else. They and pop up with the rage quit? I can't believe what I just saw. <laughs> Great racing, though, boys. Great racing right there. Sten, what are we playing? Some zombies? You looking for crawlers? Yep, PC, 16.2, Xbox One, I think it was like 14, 13, something like that. Um, 
I'm just still actually trying to figure out what's in the update besides the car pack. I mean, I know there's some new collectibles and event lab props and, you know, minor things like that, but... What are you planning to hit? 7 gigabytes. I'm just busting you, Pop. I know something probably happened. A <laughs> gig of it, yeah. <laughs> Wait for everybody to reconnect here. And then, uh, you know what we'll do? We'll celebrate... The Jaguar that's coming in here. The F-Type SVR. Why not, boys? Let's go to a little panoramica. Damn, 14.4 gigabytes, Steve, over there in Australia. So let me guess. You're at, like, what, 25 download speeds? So you probably started it. It came out, what, two hours ago? Two hours and nine minutes ago. Let's pretend you started within the last two hours. I'm going to assume you're at, like, 5% by now. Uh, am I right? <laughs> Yo, I feel for you, man. That's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. What's up, Axe? Good evening, sir. Let's do a Jaguar race, boys. Jaguar. Yo, bearded Wooshy. How you feeling about this Wooshy beard? All right, where is the manufacturer? There it is. We looking for click, click, clack, click, 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 clack. Jaguar. We gotta bring out the project. Gotta bring out the project, boys. We'll do teams on this time, collisions off. Time to full send it. Well, that's good, Cams. It took me about, really, five minutes. That's actually pretty good, but yours was a little bit smaller. Mine took about somewhere in the five to 15 minute range. I stopped paying attention, to be honest with you. So, somewhere in that range. But, um, well, we got a couple cars here. We're going with that project date though. You know I love that orange. Oh, you just started. Okay, so you at like 0.1%. Gotcha. <laughs> Yo, you better be ready by Thursday. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know. I, wouldn't, I mean, I probably wouldn't be able to do what I do if I had those kind of speeds. That's crazy, man. I wonder, you know, Eric ships in Australia. I wonder how he does it. <laughs> he might have something lucky going on there. So Bearded Woshi, um, I don't know who you talk to, but if your game save got removed, I've like had tons of people where that's happened. If you, uh, I don't you talked to Forza Support and they said they couldn't get it. See, Forza Support, that's who everybody reaches out to, and I've had tons of people get their stuff back. Now, you won't get your level back if that truly happened, like if you fully lost your stuff, but they will gift you all your cars, credits, everything. Like, they'll give you everything back. Like, there's multiple people that have had that back there, so... But I can understand, like, yeah, it's, yeah, trust me, <laughs> I don't know what I would do, I would not be happy at all, like, I, I would not be happy at all, I'm Prestige 7 now, I have 1200 cars, max credits, pretty much max accolades, like, that would be brutal, <laughs> I could not imagine, man, I feel for you, hope you get it figured out, though, because it, it should, there is ways to get that fixed to an extent, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but, you know. Six minutes, that's not too bad. Ethernet modem boosters and Starlink. Fair enough, fair enough. What do you mean, still nothing? So they said they'll send you the stuff and you never got anything? Like, I would just contact them again. Just man too. Just, <laughs> I feel you, bro. But I would just reach out to them again. Um, maybe even say, like, I was on Stevio's stream and he said you guys would be able to send me my cards and credits back and see what happens. I don't know. Because I've talked to them before for people, like, members that are in my community. Like, I've just reached out and said, hey, this person had this happen and whatever. Because then they know it's not somebody that's, like, you know been modded or hacked or something like that because obviously in this community we do not tolerate any of that nonsense so there are th yeah people had it happen back in fh4 too it's one of the problems it's one of the things i don't like about like the online cloud save because when you had a hard drive back in the day like everything's on your hard drive and the thing is like the hard drives they don't really fail i mean they can but you know what i mean so Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm so happy that 78% of you guys, over 300 votes, are about that asphalt. Because you guys all know 
But that's what I'm about. And whoever disconnected here is making this take an eternity. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> Aiden, what platform are you on again? Because you're one of the only people I know that like consistently has issues. There, there's probably the person that was affecting our ability to start here. Eight hard drive failures? Huh? Are you talking about PC? Because I don't think I've ever had an issue with, like, we're talking Xbox 360s, Xbox Ones, Xbox Series consoles. I mean, I got the external hard drives, too. Like, I even had my, which is a pretty heavy microphone here, drop on my external, and it did mess it up initially. Like, I had to reinstall things, but then it was still fine, so... Yeah, it'd be nice if some... It's setting up event. Okay, we're moving somewhere, boys. We're moving. <laughs> your, your guys' games might update before we start this race because of the people disconnecting. Like, whenever people disconnect when we're literally trying to start a race, it still thinks that those people are trying to get in or something, so it just, like, slows down the process so much. Damn, we're down to four. All right. All right. I see how it is. I see how it is. And just a reminder for anybody just tuning in now, we will be streaming again on Thursday when the new playlist begins. And we're going to be streaming all weekend and throughout the next weeks for the race off. So make sure you guys have those notification bells smashed to all on. So you don't miss any of those because YouTube will not tell you that I stream. I promise you if you don't put those notifications to all on. So want to see you guys there. We're going to complete the playlist together. I host open lobby convoys for the trial on repeat over and over. Help everybody get those 10 points. Big chunk of the points you're going to need for the new cars and of course um, other seasonal championships, tours, arcades, all that good stuff. And then we're just going to be doing random racing like we're doing here today so we can get progress towards the race off challenges for those new cars. So very excited for it make sure you have your favorite cars built and ready we're just gonna do like a ton of random restrictions different manufacturers different car types like say super saloons for example and uh yeah very ready for it i don't know if you guys noticed there i like skipped off the skipped off the road and messed up there a little bit oh my god how did a rag not latch onto that building if that was me i would have definitely latched onto that building and been toast this would have been absolute toast Whoa, Orang. Whoa there. At least I can't get violated like Salty got me the other time. I don't want to get violated again, boys. I'm sure you guys remember what happened in that trial. Man was glitchums times five. <laughs> Yo, blue team, where are we at, boys? I need some help up here, blue team. It can't just be me, man. We need somebody to make a mistake. Yo, runner up, Bendy, make a mistake for me, please. <laughs> I don't think Orang or Grand Tour will, so. They moving. Come on, pop up. Put the pressure on. That will actually... Hey, there we go! Yo, Pop-Up, you better not screw this up, man. We've been training hard for these moments. <laughs> no pressure. Ah, ah. My God, it's like a tie, basically. Pop-Up's gonna blow it. I'm calling it. <laughs> it's literally gonna come down to Pop-Up and Bendy. Oh, my God, they flipped again. It's literally gonna come down to those two. <laughs> Uh, it better not draw Antonio, it can't just be me. Yeah, GSRT, it's gonna be awesome, man. And like I said too earlier, Pop-Up did it! He did it! He did it! I can't believe it! Pop-Up, yeah! Yeah! Yeah, blue team! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's go, blue team! <laughs> That's perfect, boys. That's perfect. But 
Um, like I was saying, though, we're going to do lots of racing throughout this weekend, starting on Thursday with the new playlist, which, of course, the playlist will count towards the uh, race-off uh, progression. But I'm also going to be driving the new car pack cars during this weekend, so you guys can get a chance to join in, borrow them if you haven't bought the car pack yet, and that'll be a good time for show. But I think that is going to wrap it up for today's stream. Again, guys, do not forget, Thursday... At 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to schedule it tonight, actually, so you guys can set reminders and get it ready. But make sure that you have no all notifications on. It's very important. We will be streaming the brand new festival playlist, the official new series. Everything that we talked about today will be here on March 28th, as you can see right there. One day, 19 hours. Hope to see you guys there. Maybe... Consider becoming a member to support the channel. Of course, there's a ton of perks, and you never know. I mean, heck, VIPs also get some of these Stevio wristbands, too. So, just want to throw that stuff out there. Thank you for all the support today, and to answer your question real quick. So, when I host a lobby, right, I will blueprint, blueprint the races to be just the car from the car pack. And when I do that, it forces you to have to borrow my car that I'll be bringing. So, that's going to be pretty cool. And I know, Bullet Cobra, we can full send it over and over, which we're going to do. Imagine 12 of us racing together, like, all week for the next couple weeks. We're going to get that done in no time, because everybody's race completed. All 12 of us will count at the same time. So it's going to be really fun to work as a community and uh, get out there and race and all that stuff. So that's it for today, though, guys. If you have any questions, this stream will post as a video afterwards. So just comment and let me know. I'll try and get back to you again next stream, Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 338 votes, 78% said asphalt. We are ready for it. We are ready to do this thing. Cams, if I build some cars later, I'll let you know. Part of the membership points, you know, we build cars together. But I'm out of here, guys. Thank you again so much for the support. Appreciate all of you. See you on the next one. Okay, bye.